How's it going, everybody? Cable Guy Ken coming to you live from the Pathfather Gathering. Last day, we're getting ready to pack up. Everybody's moving out. Got somebody here. I'm sure he don't need any introductions. Everybody knows well who he is. But we have the Silver Fox himself. How's it going, Sean? It's been really good. Been out here for the whole week. Um, as it's the last day, we're packing up, and it's just been a fantastic week. The weather's been incredible. We've had three storms that have skipped rounders. You know, we've just been blessed. Um, the gathering here is just a, such a fun um, family is what it comes down to. You can't help yourself but, you know, just fall in love with everyone that's here. We've learned so much stuff. The, the lessons that they've given, you know, in relation to the ones that I've been to in the UK, um, the instructors, they don't just try and, they're not trying to sell you their course. They're trying to teach you whatever it is they're here to teach you. And they give you everything they can possibly give you in the, in the one or two hour segment. Um, this is the biggest difference between a, a, the American gathering to a British gathering. The British gatherings, in my opinion, and okay, I'm open to find your own opinion, they give you 60% of the information that you know, their incentive is to try and sell you their course. Um, honestly, this, this is a fabulous gathering, and, and, and for anyone who hasn't been to one, you know, get yourself down here. While it's still a fairly close-knit group down here, you know, make the most of it, capitalise on that. You know, in the next two years, three years, this is going to be, you know, 500 or 1,000 plus people here, and you're not going to get, you know, the time with the with the instructors, you know, with Dave Canterbury, with myself, you know, and all the other instructors that were here. You're not going to get the time with me so busy having to deal with everyone else. All right, well, now you said with yourself. I thought this was a one-time deal. You being down here, you know. Have I let the cat out of the bag? Mm. Nah, not the cat. I'm going to be. I'm, I'm coming. But I've, I've been asked to come back here for September. So as soon as I get home on Friday, my first thing is um, getting back on the internet, getting some flights booked. I'm back out here for September this year. I'll be back out here for June next year as well. And it looks like it's going to be. I'm coming twice a year to the states for this gathering. So, and I love it. I'm I'm so up for it. Well, other than the difference in teaching styles from the UK and the Americas, did you learn anything here? Any particular skill that you didn't already know, or did you learn any new tricks or anything to take back with you? Um, I, I, I tell you what, I did learn was the difference between. Um, we're very similar in the climates and stuff, but the trees, all your trees are almost completely different to what my trees are. The wild food, there's some of the plants I recognise here, a huge amount of plants that I don't recognise. So when I was out doing the wild food walk with Bob, yeah, I learned lots of new plants. Um, I learned some of the medical uses for the plants even that I knew back home. You know, new tricks and stuff like that. Right, right. Um, I picked up a pretty good snake bite, uh, spider bite from something over here and had a good swelling on my arm. Um, you know, and, and the, the medical teams, they gave me sort of poultices. We used a greater plantain, which worked pretty good. And then someone gave me a tobacco poultice, which seems to work actually really, really good, I have to yeah, say. Yeah. Um, to the extent I'm going to carry a couple of cigarettes in my first aid kit. I or don't a, smoke. A plug of tobacco will work too. Plug of oh, chewing okay. tobacco, there you go. Chewing tobacco. There yeah. you go, okay. Well, that's, so I learned that. What else you learned? Oh, friction firelight with new woods. You know, cottonwood. I don't get cottonwood in the UK. Yeah. Yeah. So, again, it's experiment with new woods. was excellent. Um, how do you like the hand drill? Again, my hands blister up so bad. I've still got a really bad blister here, so I'm still got to work on that. I've got to get tougher hands, but you know, I'll get the hang of that one day. Um, chaga. Yeah, it's excellent chaga. Yeah, it's a new fungus. Uh, when you can do the boat, the bow drill into a fungus, and you get the cold directly in the fungus. Um, again, it's not something we have. And then you then. You take your chug and you put it in some boiling water and you make sort of tea out of the same stuff. So you start the fire and use the thing you started the fire with to make a tea so make you can have an enjoyable tea. There so you go. That was it. Um, and just, I've made so many friends, you know. Uh, it's been an incredible event. Um, and I'm, I, I'm sad to go home to you. I don't want to go. Uh, I'm really tempted. I've got my pack here. I'm thinking I'm just going to wander off and just hang around for a bit longer. But there you go. I've got a plane waiting for me on Friday, so. All right, well, anybody you want to say anything to before we shut down here? Yeah, there's, there's people that didn't get here that, you know, I'd really like to have met and, you know, things have happened and they couldn't make it. So there's uh, Mike in Oregon particularly, uh, and I spoke to you on the phone, but uh, it's a real shame you didn't make it over here. Um, if you can get here for September, I'm going to be here and I'd love to meet you personally and, you know, really get to sort of bond with you as a friend. All right. Well, man, I appreciate it. I've definitely enjoyed it. Um, love hearing you talk, man. I know you hear that a lot. Do you, you? We sound just as freaky as you do, but I love it, man. So I appreciate it, and I appreciate you taking the time for my little rinky-dink channel here to do a little interview, all right? No problem.